Is my screen visible? Yes, sir. OK, so I am going to ask one question while starting the software. What was the first thing we have to check uh, before drawing or before creating any sketch? Anyone can answer this question. Sir, the bottom mein right corner pe de rakha hai. MKS ko saad MMS mein karenge kuch. Bilkul, bilkul. Whenever you are going to start the software and you are working on a particular unit system, you are need you need to check always that what unit system you are opted at while starting the module. Okay. So first of all, we have to go for MMGS. That is millimeter gram second. And whenever that is actually default that whenever you are going to start a software again and again, it actually opt for MKS that is meter kilogram second. If somehow you are going to mistakenly drawing uh, create any uh, pa two parts within this two unit system, then you are going to face difficulty in while assembling these two components because uh, when you are going to assemble, one part is going to be very small with respect to the other one. So while uh, start doing any sketch first of all you have to check that what unit system you are going to be followed and for changing this three system what you need to do just uh, click on this arrow and then click on mgs complete environment with respect to sketching and 3d modeling part is going to be converted into mgs okay so with respect to earlier class recording. yes please Is recording on Yes, yes, recording already. Actually, I already started. Okay. Yes, recording is on. Okay. So, with respect to that, in earlier class, what we have completed, and what I remember that, uh, with respect to this extrude boss, revolve boss, and step boss, which I already shared. Uh, if anyone had any query regarding these tools, or somehow if anyone have had this software and, and practiced these tools, for creating any parts, please let me know so we can uh, do the ad part, uh, clear that confusion with respect to you and also other get benefit with respect to the same. Otherwise, I'm going to continue the class with respect to uh, the uh, content which I'm going to share today. So with respect to the current class, uh, what I'm going to share today, uh, I'm going to share that uh, these two tools, this is lofted boss and boundary boss. Okay. Uh, and there's a difference between these two tools and also the similarity between these two tools that if you had two sketches that are on different planes, then with the help of these uh, two tools, you can uh, join uh, with the respect to creating any curvature also. And after uh, explaining these tools, we are going to draw this component uh, with respect to the uh, practicing part. And also after the class, I'm going to share with respect to that. Uh, we are going to uh, got this profile within the CAD modeling software. Uh, there's one more thing within this drawing which is there that whenever you are going to cre uh, create or whenever you are going to observe any drawing within the uh, layout or within the 2D sketch sheets, uh, there was a dimension or the symbol which was placed on that check sheets which tells you that in which uh, angle of projection these drawings are created. So with respect to that, in uh, first year, you learned about uh, engine drawing. So with respect to that, there are two things uh, which was told to all of you at that time, and that is first angle projection and third angle projection. So with respect to that, how we are going to know that we are drawing in first angle and third angle? No one is going to write that these drawings are created in first angle projection or third angle projection. Actually, in place of that, we are using uh, <coughs> symbols uh, for representing that in which angle projection these drawings are created so actually this was a symbol actually which is drawing in a particular module and for that purpose i am going to showcase one thing how you are going to remember that in which angle projection this drawing is created okay so with respect to that i am going to showcase one thing that uh, suppose these two planes are which we have okay that is vertical plane and this one is horizontal and this is actually first quadrant so with respect to the uh, planes uh, which we have uh, the uh, angle projection is named on the same basis so if this is a first quadrant and if any drawing had 
uh, such type of symbol which was going to be generated with the help of this that drawing is to be drawn in a first angle projection okay so with respect to that i am going to showcase one thing so if somehow if we take a cone and going to cut from the bottom and then place in such a manner and if we are going to see from this side that <coughs> observer side then what is going to be happen that we are going to get a trapezium shape of view of this side that is front view and two, two circles at the bottom and as per the convention which we have that we have always keeping the uh, horizontal plane fixed this is horizontal horizontal plane and this is vertical plane okay so as per the convention which we have the uh, we sorry this i actually wrong this is vertical plane and this is horizontal plane okay so as per the convention what we have so we are keeping the vertical plane fixed and rotating the horizontal plane in clockwise manner in such a manner okay so with respect to that when we are going to draw this on a 2d sketch sheet as the screen which we have suppose this is the 2d sketch sheet and we are going to segregate that sketch sheet in two halves with the help of a line that is x y and this is actually a reference line or intersection line which we are getting by intersection of these two planes at this point okay so this is actually the xy line okay. so when we are going to rotate this horizontal plane in clockwise manner so with respect to that what we got we got this trapezium shape above xy line and these two bottom circles at the below xy line okay and when we are going to rotate this in such a manner that uh, we are going to separate it so the trapezium side is at the back and the circles are at the front okay so if such symbol is going to be represented in any drawing sheet it shows that the, whatever drawing which was created over there it is drawing drawn in first angle projection and if somehow the circles are getting back okay in such a manner okay so with respect to that that drawing is uh, created in third angle projection because when we are going to create the third plane of such type and this is horizontal vertical plane this third quadrant this is horizontal plane and this is vertical plane so with respect to that if the same component is going to be placed in this scenario so the circle part is going to be drawn at the top this is actually circle okay and the trapezium part is going to be created over this side okay so with respect to that when this component is going to be drawn uh, in same scenario and when we are going to getting an xy line and when we are going to rotate the horizontal pin clockwise manner so the circles are going to be come at the top the trapezium shape is going to be at the bottom so this scenario is going to be generated in this so uh, the drawing which we have in our case uh, is having such type of symbols so with respect to that uh, we are getting such things such scenario so with respect to that with the help of this symbol we can see that this is created in third angle projection okay any query with respect to that whenever you are going to see a drawing and you may notice that this symbol is placed within the drawing sheet so be sure that uh, and whenever someone is going to ask that in which uh, quadrant or in which angle of projection this drawing is created so with respect to that uh, this angle is going to be uh, this symbol is going to be used to tell him that these drawings are created in third angle projection okay so after the uh, explaining the tools i am going to showcase you how we are going to create these drawings because the one more rib tool is placed and there are cycles over there there sh shape of this uh inclined plane so we are going to create after the uh, tools okay so with respect to that we are going to create sketches for explaining these two tools that is lofted boss and boundary boss okay so with respect to that i am going to click on right plane sorry top plane and then click on sketch so for uh, using these two tools that is lofted boss and boundary boss we need two sketches and both sketches are going to be created on different planes so with respect to that i am going to create a rectangle on one plane 
okay and now i am not going to dimension because i'm just going to showcase you how these tools are going to be used and going to rotate and then click on top plane because i need a data plane with respect to creating another sketch so first you have to select that plane or after onwards if you need to select the plane that is going to be that also that is going to be also possible with the help of uh, selecting the planes after getting it within the tool but with respect to that uh, what i am going to doing i am first i sele select the top plane and then go to features tab and then click on reference plane and then click on planes so actually these data planes are hypothetical planes which help us in creating any sketch or copying any profile from one plane to another uh, that helps in saving our time or maybe give a reference to us for creating any sketch module uh, whenever you are going to start this tool or use this tool for the first time whenever the software starts it takes around 10 seconds so with respect to that don't think about the software is hanged or something else so please keep in mind whenever you are going to use this replay reference plane tool it take around 5 to 10 seconds so be patient at that time so with respect to that i told you that after starting the tool you can select the top plane or before uh, se selecting the tool you can also select any plane with respect to that or that template which is going to be generated so if you need to get, give any space within the plane then it is going to be happen in such a manner if uh, or if you need any multiple data templates so what you can do you can increase the number of planes but at this right now we don't need such planes so with respect to that uh, this uh, data plane is created around 50 mm above so i am going to click okay so the data plane is going to be created okay and the other thing how you are going to opt for is uh, or sketching module so what you can do you can right click over there on this pan child relationship bar and click on sketch or what you can do you can click on plane one and then click on sketch module both ways you can get in within the sketch module and uh, for keeping the plane normal or with a parallel to the screen what you can do you need to click on normal okay or if uh with the help of keyboard if you want to do that what you need to do you need to just press this space bar and then click on normal so with respect to that that wherever the cursor is available the uh, geometry is going to be so the pop up is going to be uh, available or uh, show, shows okay so with respect to that i am going to create a circle from the center okay then click okay okay so what we have right now we have two sketches within uh, this type and uh, right now i do not need to showcase you this uh, data plane which i created with the help of this reference tool so what you can do you can click on the data plane and then click on hide so actually if you need only sketches that that thing is going to be happen okay so with respect to that applying lofted tool or lofted boss base tool what you need to do you need to select both sketches okay then click on lofted boss okay so you can see that these two different sketches which are apart from each other is going to join with the help of this tool okay uh before telling these part that is what is guide curves uh with the help of this uh, methodology i'm going to show you what is the difference between this lofted boss and boundary boss so one more thing that these two green uh, dots which is available in that if you are going to pick and drag somewhere else the connectivity between these two uh, more sketches which is present at right now can be changed with the help of this so as per your necessity what you can do you can uh, apply these changes but uh, uh, be sure what you are doing with the help of these tools because uh, the software also knows the limitation of manufacturability right now so in terms of that if the uh, revolving or the twisting part is much more with respect to the required limit the software is not going to be created okay you can see that the section below the this circular part is going to be round round uh, much more required so with respect to that right now you can see that if the twisting part is going to be more with respect to that the software already told you that this is not going to be created okay so with respect to that by changing the location of these dot within the sketch path you can change the geometry of 
shapes which you opted okay so with the help of this uh, twisting part you can uh, change the shapes uh, within these two sketches the most important thing is that what is the difference between this loft and boss and boundary boss uh, while creating these modules what you can see that we got a uh, name which is displaying with the help of this sketch this profile sketch 2 and profile sketch 1 actually if we need to make these uh, pathways of a guide ways which was joining which is joining these two profile sketches uh, in, we need to make them tangent or with respect to something normal so that is not possible with respect to the lofted boss this thing is available within the boundary boss module because when you are going to opt for this actually uh, the lines which you are seeing right now, actually these are the best just uh, the uh, normal lines which is going to be sh shortened with the help of this scale factor of that. And you can also change the density of these lines with the help of this just rotating the bar. You can increase or decrease that part. Okay. The difference between lofted bus and boundary boss is that you got an option with the help of these things. Okay. So you can see that with respect to the profile which you created, if you are going to opt that or if you required that whatever geometry which I created, that should be normal with respect to the profile. So with, with the help of this boundary boss tool, you can do that. Okay. okay. But uh, when I'm going to do other things, such thing is going to be happen. Okay. And if you need to flip the direction of material also, you can do with the help of this but make sure and the profile is going to be also changed, but make sure that you whatever you are going, doing, it is going to be manufactured with respect to the geometry part. Okay, so with the help of this, what you can do, you can make the uh, linear or normal to profile maybe increased or decreased. So such type of things can be happen with the help of this. Okay, so the first difference between these two things is that lofted boss and boundary boss is that uh, the options which we have with these uh, sketches is uh, different within these two modules. The other thing is that uh, if you need to uh, whatever shape which, which was created right now uh, in such a manner that this line is following this path, this line is following this path. Uh, the other thing is that if you need uh, do something with respect to the path that the outer sketch is going to be followed, that thing is actually happened with respect to the lofted boss uh, the center line parameter feature is also available with the help of which you can do that so uh, with respect to that i am going to cancel okay so the, uh, with respect to the boundary boss this parameter is available that normal to profile or uh, direction vector is available with respect to that you can make these changes so in such a manner you can do these changes with the help of this uh, lofted boss tool okay so there's one more thing within the lofted boss tool that if you need to whatever the shape which is going to be generated with the help of these two sketches what you need to do you need to uh, create uh, a path between this these two planes so we have to check that what was the middle plane which is available so actually this was the plane which is <coughs> available within the middle of these two planes so i am going to sketch a path that is going to be followed by these two sketches. So with respect to that, I'm going to use flying feature and click over here and then click on the middle and click at the end and click right click and then uh, for getting the options within the cursor within the tool, you need to click right click or uh, with respect to uh, applying the tool or any uh, spline tool or line tool, rectangle tool, you need to click the left click of the mouse. Okay. So what was the advantage of using spline tool that by clicking the endpoints you can change the tangency. Okay. And if you are going to increase that part, so such shape is going to be happened. Okay. So whenever you are going to do, make sure that uh, tangency which is going to be happen is perfect. Otherwise, some manufacturing difficulties which we are going to be followed. Okay, so this was the path which we required. We can also create a, a straight line path or center line path. For that, I'm going to sketch, edit the sketch again, and going to use this spline feature and going to create this line and then click at the ends and going to give a tangency. Okay, so with the help of these two, 
we are going to select or opt any profile one profile at a time with the help of which we can get or we can join these two sketches with the help of this module so lofted boss so you can see that the geometry is created but when you are going to click on guide curves and click on this path okay so you can see that when you are going to opt for this thing uh, the geometry of this uh, module is going to be followed by the guide curve which we created uh, there one more thing okay so you can see that the shape is going to be changed uh, with respect to the normal parameter which we have in the boundary boss okay other thing is that if somehow if i am going to delete or clear this section uh, there's center line parameter which is uh, followed by these two sketches and in case of that i am going to click on this path module then click on okay so you can see that within this uh, loft head boss what we have we have two different uh, parameters with respect to the which we can yeah, follow the path between two different sketches okay so with respect to that uh, this is the difference or this is the use of uh, these two things which can be done okay so in such a manner we can create these parts so in such a manner we can do that uh, so i actually just showcase you but uh, at a time we need only one path at a time within the sketch module so with respect to that i am going to delete the side sketch which is not required in this module so click on this one delete yes and then exit from the sketch select the these two first sketches click on loft red boss then center line parameter then click this module and click okay okay so actually at that time when i'm clicking earlier why this job is not completed because actually at the same time we have two path which is available within the that sketch module so with respect to that the software doesn't allow us to exiting from the sketch module so keep in mind while doing these thing that if you need a center line parameter or if you need a normal path which is required for these two sketches that is to be followed okay so otherwise the software doesn't allow you to exit from that module so with respect to this uh, these things are going to be happened okay so in terms of that uh, with the help of this what we are going to do we can join two different sketches or we, if we need to uh, uh, do any modification with respect to uh, geometry which is already created we can do that okay. one more thing these five tools that you are uh, seeing right now that extrude boss evolve boss surf boss and loft head boss and boundary boss all these five tools are used for adding material within a already created part or if you need to uh add any part within the part that can be happen okay so with respect to that i am going to showcase few things okay. i am going to delete these things also delete yes okay and again i am going to create a circular sketch create a circle Actually, this is not how we need to create an axis. Before that, this is actually normal. So, with respect to that, I'm going to a center line, a small. Uh, sorry, that is inclined actually. we need only a cycle of reference sketch exit the wall boss sketch profile axis of evolution so this is axis evolution see so this is actually a circular ring and if, if somehow we need to 
create a small extruded pipes at this section. So what we need to do, we need to create a data plane. Uh, suppose I'm going to opt for right uh, data plane and then click on reference plane and uh, not up to this level. I'm going to require at this level. So with respect to your ED, what you can do, you can change the dimensions. So whatever the nearness with respect to that, we can change. So right now I'm going to create this data plane and then click on the sketch module. So actually I need to click a profile that is going to be stick with the other side. So I'm going to create a circle again, uh, which is to be small of such type that this is going to be extruded. OK, so see and I also I'm going to be solid model. Okay. So with respect to that, if I'm going to extrude this part and this. OK, blind and up to next. OK. So you can see that by choosing this tool, whatever the geometry which is going to be opted and that is going to be have, uh, take the curvature of that part. OK, so actually whenever you are going to use these tools with respect to adding material. So if any space which is available within the module, what you can do, you can opt for uh, such scenarios. OK, now next thing is that any query till this time. Whatever I shared. Otherwise, I'm going to continue. OK, so with respect to that, uh, with the help of these things, you can. Make various changes as per requirement or if you need a multiple copies of that, that is going to be played at a different location. So what you can do, you can. Apply for the. Access. Just hold a moment. So with respect to that, you can apply at a multiple location. Actually, I actually support the wrong component. Okay. And if we need uh, around four copies that are equidistant to be with respect to each. So with the help of these, what we can do, we can apply for these things. OK, so in such a manner, you can create multiple copies of a part that is already created. Okay. So in such a manner, these things are going to be used for creating different geometries for adding material within a job profile. OK, so with respect to that. Uh, uh, I'm going to showcase you. OK, so with respect to that, these uh, six tools which are used for uh, removing material within a geometry. So I am going to showcase only one uh, with respect to that. Uh, 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 that is going to be much more for the today class. So these five tools are used for creating. So for removing any amount of material that is required for the geometry part. So I'm going to select this plane and click sketch module and then click on normal other if you uh, get a better view with respect to creating any path there is no requirement to keep normal so i'm going to create a circle then exit from the sketch and click extrude cut okay and if i'm going to opt for blind cut so with the help of this picking and dragging what you can do you can uh, select for the whole uh, remove material so by clicking okay you can see that the material which is cut right now from the inside. So with the help of this or with the help of this view, you can see that the material was cut within the side or with the help of section cut, you can see that. This part is going to be cut from the inside from here. You can see so in such a manner, these uh, six tools are used for removing material within a geometry. OK, in the next slide, I'm going to showcase you how these tools are going to be used with respect to removing material from a solid component of a solid geometry suppose <coughs> all of you are driving two wheel vehicles and uh, in earlier times or in today time for cooling the engine we required a water jacket for water pathways in that jacket so with the help of these swept cut uh, what we can do we can remove material as per our requirement so with respect to that this is all for this uh, 
uh, 3D modeling tools. And now we are going to, I'm going to showcase you uh, how we are going to create this part within the software, okay? Uh, anyone had any query with respect to this uh, module, with respect to lofted boss or boundary boss? Or oh, yeah, after doing the class or doing the uh, job which we are going to be created, if you had any query, at the same time you can ask. So that uh, uh, correction or that revise that can be done at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to create a new. Okay. So if you are going to be uh, uh, create multiple new files, so that is not showcasing you that whatever the drawing you created is uh, uh, end. So with the help of this feature, you can create multiple windows within that uh, uh, part at the same time. So with respect to that, if you are create, uh, working on two different parts or three different parts that are going to be assembled within assembly, so you can open all the parts at the same time with the help of which you can see or you can see the comparison with respect to any part, okay? So with the help of this, that can be done. Now what we are going to do, we are going to create this part. So first thing is that from which uh, part you are going to start. So from my side, I'm going to start from this side, okay? Uh, as per the necessity, you can create uh, these parts as per requirement or whatever view what that you got in your mind from that side you can do that so for that purpose i'm going to create this profile at this time the base part so with respect to that i am going to create a rectangle and then i'm going to create a fillet of 15 radius and the width of this is 70 millimeter and 60 millimeter with respect to that there are holes which are placed at the same time so first of all, I'm going to create a rectangle of 70 by 60, which is having a thick uh, fillet of 15 radius and uh, 15 millimeter radius and having a thickness of 7.5 millimeter. Okay. So I'm going to select top plane, then going to select for rectangle. Okay. Then click for uh, mouse gestures with respect to that this dimension is around 60. This dimension is around 70. What a fillet. So we are going to fill a value of 15 first over the left hand side you can see that. And then just select these edges or vertices. Then this component going to be in such a manner. Okay. So in such a manner you can see that these things are created. Okay. So in such a manner you can do that. Uh, other things are that these holes are placed. Okay, and these place at a location of 15 and for, uh, apart from 40 millimeter. So you can do that or you can create uh, this part with the help of holes also. And the thickness of this part is about 7.5 millimeter. So extrude and the thickness 7.5 millimeter. Okay. So with respect to holes, actually when you are going to in a hole with that, there are multiple variants which is available within this module with the help of which you can do that. Because if you are going to see the drawing, the tapered uh, taperedness which is placed at the corners. So with respect to that, we can uh, do that part. Okay four holes of 12 diameter okay so with respect to that you can change the type okay there are the various conditions which is available in this particular module and from here you can choose that uh, this type of hole which is placed at that part jis is the standard which you are going to be followed and I'm going to check again for ANSI also.
and JIS. Okay, JIS the standard. Okay. Now we can see that 12 diameter hose. Hose I of 12 diameter. <coughs> Taperness was also there. So if the taperness is from bottom side also, we can't do that. We are going to give a fillet. So with this particular, we are not going to use this thing. So we are going to create for creating these uh, cycles. What we are going to we are going to create four holes and then uh, we are going to create a chamfer with the help of which our triangular part is going to be happen. And in terms of that, this. Uh, Fillet radius around three millimeter. Okay. We are going to create holes. And then, okay, then select, then select equalness between all holes by selecting, uh, by pressing control and then clicking, uh, click left click on these circuits, and then click on equal. Okay, so all the circuits are of equal size. And when you are going to dimension this with the hello dimension tool, these circuits are going to be converted by giving dimension at the same time. Okay. Now what is going we need to do? We need to locate these cycles at correct position. So with respect to that, these cycles are 15 millimeter from this side, 40 millimeter from the 70 m side. So this is the 70 m side. So with respect to that, by clicking at the edge and then click on this cycle, this is around 15 millimeter. Okay. And within these two cycles, the distance is around 40 millimeter. So, 40 in similar manner what we are going to we are going to dimension these cycles also 15 and the distance between this and this is 40 okay and between these two sides the gap is around 30 millimeter so with respect to the 15 millimeter gap from the left hand side also so this is around 15 and the gap between this and this is 30 so with the hello dimension feature you can give dimension to each and every one again this is okay. so we are going to give dimension of this and this that is 30 okay and between this and this edge, that is 15. So in such a manner, all circuits are located at the correct position. And then what we are going to do, we are going to actually remove material. So extrude cut was the tool that we need to require, uh, we need to use. So with respect to this tool, what we got, we got four holes at the same time. Okay. And then a circular fillet was there because you can see that our circular fillet was there as which is available. So what we are going to do with a 3D fillet, which is available within this module, click on fillet, then give a value of three at this point. Okay. There are different modules which is available within this fillet module, but at right now I'm going to show you only constant and whatever the edges which is available within this module, you are going to just click on these edges. Our fillet. And you can apply at the same time on, on both sides by just rotating the component. Okay. And then click OK. So you can see that these fillets are created at the same time. Okay. See the fillet the value is going to be short my 1.5. Okay. So this is actually correct. Okay. So this is actually in, the, in such a manner the parts are created. Okay. After onwards, what we need to do, we need to create two things. First of all, we need to create this 
uh, incline line up to this uh, end point you can see over here now after all not what we need to do we need to create uh, we need to create this line uh, at the next stage and first of all what we need to do we need to create a cycle that is about 29 millimeter up, uh, high which is of 29 millimeter distance from this location and uh, the dimension is of 25 millimeter and for that purpose what you need to do what you need to just uh, click on planes which is correct for this so with the respect to this you can see that this right plane is placed as location and this is the correct plane which we require for creating this module then click over here <coughs> and with respect to as your necessity you can zoom in or zoom out with respect to your profile so with respect to that a cycle which is going to be of uh, 50 millimeter radius so with respect to the dimension toolbar we are going to give a dimension of 50 okay and this is placed at a distance of 29 so this center point and this this is placed about 29 distance up okay after onwards the circle is placed about uh, 5 mm distance from this edge so uh, between this and this a distance of 5 was located so with respect to any drawing the dimensions are always placed within the drawing you just need to identify that which drawing is to be used for which purpose and right now what we need we need to create a circle of 25 diameter within the center so with the help of mouse gestures that gives you is uh, somehow i select the exit sketch module so with respect to this part uh, we need to create a circle and uh, we need to create again a circle of 25 diameter okay so in such a manner these holes are created and at last what we need to do we need to just create a line that is going to be joined just we need to check that where the tangent is this select line and whatever part which is not required within this drawing so we are going to create a line we need to check the geometry okay. so from here to here and then click to join till this point and somehow we selected the wrong point within this part so i'm going to delete or what you can do you can click on this part uh, edge this point and then this point and the other one you can, you can merge points okay so there's no need to delete you can merge points uh, of such type and then with the help of trim tool what you can do you can trim these profiles this is not required okay so in such a manner you can do and so this for sketching module and then we, the, we need to uh, exit from the sketch and we the thickness is around, uh, around 10 millimeter so what we are going to do we are going to add thickness with the help of food boss uh, select uh, feature so this is the sketch feature food boss and that is actually mid plane and the value is around 10 okay so with the help of this uh, which we got okay so in such a manner you can create these parts okay and the fillet which are already played at these centers so uh, the one radius fillet which is shown within this drawing so that could be drawn after this uh, dimension so because the one part is already left with respect to this uh, part so what we can do we can uh, uh, click cycles so for that we what we need to do we need to again select the right plane okay or what other thing we can do we can select this plane also for a sketch module because we need to add material on this part not for the uh, middle section because that actually uh, increase the total mass of this line so what we are going to do we are going to create first of all we are going to copy this cycle with the help of converted entities okay so this cycle which we got and after on what what we are going to do we are going to create a cycle of around 10.13 radius 
and that is going to be located at a distance of Mm, this is about uh, 6.25 and this distance from this to this is around 2.5 so we are going to create a cycle and we also need to convert this cycle as a convergent it is and we are going to create a cycle at this location which is about 6.25 radius so 6.25 it means key 12.5 diameter Okay. Then the distance between these two lines is around uh, 6.25, 6.25 and sorry, 2.5 is the distance. Okay. In such a manner, you can dimension these parts. And the other thing is that what we need to do, we need to create a cycle that is about 6.35 and which is placed at this location. And the radius 10.13 around 20.26. So we are going to create a cycle again. Just hold for a moment, actually I'm getting a call. Okay, uh, then what we need to do, we need to create a cycle again, which is placed at this location. Okay. And the dimension is of, sorry, and the dimension is of around uh, 20.26. 20.26 is the dimension. 20.26 okay and the distance from this to this is 6.37 so center of this to this 6.37 are going to 6.37 okay and then we need to do what one more thing that we need to create a straight line see the requirement of drawing is not just joining two cycles as per the requirement or as per the part we can change that things and the other thing is that we need lines from here to here and then click up to here okay and select and what was the last thing which we need to do? We need to just uh, remove the unnecessary part that is required within this module. So this line is not required. These lines are not required. Okay. After on what what we are going to be do? We don't need uh, this line. At least somehow the connectivity is not there. So that's why this cycle is removed. So we have to check that around some straight line is going to be used for that purpose. This to this again we need lines. The one more thing you can do, I'm going to try for that. Make tangent. Also, the other thing is that we need to create this and this one as tangent. So some conflict was there, that's why it's not showing. So with this particular condition which you uh, applied, you can delete those things. 
as per the requirement. So first of all, I'm going to delete this line and then try to, and all, it is already touching that point. So let's try for trim tool, then we can see that. Okay, it's fine. Okay. So with respect to that, the one more thing which was left. Before completing the drawing, be sure that whatever you left is not getting into the part. So with respect to that, the sketch model is completed. And what we are going to do, we are going to extrude boss. And what was the thickness? It is around, uh, so this is 20 millimeter and inside is 10. So with respect to that, this is going to be And eat me from here, it is 10. And from the one side, 10 from the other side. So we are going to out for mid plane. And this is 10. Okay. And for creating other side, what you can do, you can select the profile and then you can out for mirror. Okay. In case of mirror, what you need to do, we need to just select the correct plane and then the geometry is going to be created already. Okay, so with the help of these tools, which we opt, we can make these changes with the help of which we, these things are going to be created. The last thing which is left around fillet, few fillets are there. And with respect to that, there's one more fillet, which is of around three millimeters. So what we are going to do, we are going to opt for fillet. Select for these edges. Okay. Actually, I'm looking for that if somehow if I mirror this object and I give a fillet of this value, then this is going to be opted on the other side automatically, but that is not going to be happen. So with respect to that, these fillets are going to be happen. There's one more fillet which was placed in this drawing. It is on this location and on this location. That is of one actually, but so with the help of this, we can do that. In such a manner, you can make these changes as per the requirement. Uh, the one more thing left, the one more fillet, which is of around one millimeter radius at the inner side. I think so. So fillet is a very good tool for creating curvatures within these edges. So with the help of this, we can do that. Okay, so you can see that what is happening actually right now. And the one very good tool, if somehow we need to create this part, uh, that is uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, support part from the right side. So you first see that this plane is about 31 millimeter apart, uh, or this part is around 31 millimeter apart. So what you need to do, we need a datum plane. And for that purpose, I'm going to select this surface and then click on reference plane and then click on planes okay so with respect to any surface you can also create a data plane and we i need this on other side the distance from this this around 31 millimeter okay other thing is that you also keep in mind that while creating a, a rib tool for this we need this plane about uh, 35 that is in between this rib, uh, part so i am going to add the value of in between plane also so 4 plus 31 is that is 35 so I need this plane 35 distance. Okay, then click OK. Then I'm going to use this plane for sketch module. Then select orientation because we require this orientation at this location. So I'm going to showcase you. Sorry, there's no actually sketch model which is required for this. Actually, I, we need directly a rib tool which was placed at this location. So plane select and click on rib tool. Okay, so we actually got within the tool. And what we require, we need to create a line that actually uh, got this inclination. And the width is this one, but the gap was not mentioned within this. So, no, actually, the height is already noted, but the distance from this to this line is inclination. So with respect to that, uh, 
this is going to be happen with respect to both. So what we can do, we are going to convert this geometry into this manner, and then we are going to create a line. And in terms of that, I'm going to just click on this and got this intersection. So till this point, and there's one more thing which we need to do. What we can do, we can actually evaluate the distance from this to this location. So this is around 11 millimeter. So while creating these tool or using this tool, what you can do, you can actually make the measurement which helps you in dimensioning the profiles. So with respect to that, that is going to be 11. That is 14 right now. It's going to be 11. Okay, so it is correct right now. So after exiting the sketch, you can see that I also I'm going to click for 3D part. So you can see that we already got a view and we what are the thickness of this? This is around eight. Okay, so this eight. And while clicking OK, you can see that we got a rib on this side. Okay, and what is the next thing which we need to do? We actually got fillets, which is place of two radius. So what we need to do, we are going to get features fillet and click on these edges okay and the value is around two so click okay and then click okay and earlier as we done uh, that we can mirror this part and also we have a plane which you can check earlier or which you can check after creating this part so this is actually the middle plane which we required to for mirror part so this fillet component then click on mirror and then actually it is requiring a plane. So we are going to click this right plane and then some issues there. That's why it is not happening right now. So I'm going to try again. That is mirror. Part is this one. Actually, we need to pull at this over. Okay. Actually, okay, okay, sorry. Actually, we do not need to rib. Then plane is right. Actually, I picked the wrong thing. That's why it is happening. So we need to just give a fillet of two and select these two edges and click OK. So in such a manner, you can create parts that is going to be used within the additive manufacturing part. So you can customize or you can change planes or you can select any surface for creating these two things or these two different things. So in such a manner, we can create these drawings which help us in getting the better visualization within the software. So as per the geometry which we have, we can we created these parts. These are the initial cast that by these uh, small drawings which I am locating you to how that these drawings are created. And there's one more thing. If somehow these uh, hatching lines you got within a drawing the what it showcases it actually showcases that what is the uh, actually that part is not hollow the material is over there and wherever hatching was shown uh, hatching was not shown it showcases that the part is hollow so actually this section is showcasing this uh, uh, holes or the material that is removed from this part so with the help of this you can see that and with the help of sections these things are going to be presented within the drawing and actually what you can do you can actually get these drawings with the help of this software so and and for that what you can do you can click on uh, this part file make drawing from parts and before that actually you need to save so for that purpose i'm going to save this drawing at my desktop part two okay i'm going to save cad part and the extension is dlt prt okay solidworks part okay so with the help of this uh, drawing module I'm just giving us a little view. Uh, then click on overview. Then whatever drawing you need, suppose if uh, I'm going to see this part, so you can see that this part is placed over there. Okay. So in terms of the view, you got different views. Sorry, it means in terms of 2D views, you got these things at the same locations. You can relocate these views which is placed. Okay. And also after 
doing this you what you can do you can make the modification somehow if you need to uh, need this object in 3d manner so you can actually uh, somehow i select the wrong part that's why this is happening so in terms of that so in terms of that uh, uh we can do this thing with the help of this and if we are we are going to put dimension in terms of that so we can do that so in such a manner these drawings are created okay just wait for a moment Okay, so in such a manner, we got these two different two uh, D views that we see in this image. So with respect to that, uh, we can get these parts. Or if somehow you can delete, or uh, somehow if you delete these views, so what? Uh, sorry, actually, I need to get out of this. So somehow if you got this part deleted, so what you can do with respect to that, you can place as per requirement. And with respect to this drawing, if I need to be three D, so by just clicking on a uh, small icons you can get a view of that okay so with respect to that you got different views if you do not need boundary lines but boundary line signify that where was the color which was placed so with respect to that you can do that if you need a section cut what you can do you can go to view layout go to section view and if i need to uh, showcase uh, a particular section of such type what you can do what we need what we can do we actually click over here okay we actually the plane was selected wrongly so with respect to that we can do in such a manner different manner so in such a manner we can get different views or section cuts with respect to a drawing maybe the line is going to be created at somewhere so with respect to that we can get a section view uh, and if we, we can also in the, if we need a detailed view of this part so what we can do we can click over here and we got a detailed view that what is going to be happen and if somehow we need a, of such profile so where we can showcase that this uh, part is having a, a hole uh, with respect to that we can do that okay uh, we can also do these things within a drawing also. Somehow if I'm going to click, so these showcases that there are the part of some guidelines which was placed within that part module. Okay. So in such a manner, these things are going to be happen. And if you need to scale the size of the sheet, so you can do that. That is scaling parameter is also available. So you can opt for this that you one is to five. So or maybe other side that is two is to one. So that is going to be done by the designer so in terms of that if you need to showcase any additive manufacturing part to someone else that need a brief detail with respect to any part or any component or any assembly so in terms of that we can do the such things with the help of these uh, 3d modeling tools and with the help of these 3d printers we can convert our idea into a practical manner so with respect to this uh, uh, this is all for the today class and if you had any query please let me know okay so with respect to any command which was shared with you all or with respect to any uh, uh, tool that is not uh, that you are not getting getting into it so with respect to this please share your queries or questions so we can uh, clear those queries with the help of these things okay any query from you Anyone else?